Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Let's go ahead and change the time, see if this fad person is back. Or, not back, but available. Also, we'll see if we get new uh, quests, and we do... Hmm. Okay, well, first of all... Ah! It's that. I gotta get a quest from you first. Hello. Ah, Miss Tyria. What a woman. So cool and aloof, so athletic, and that sharp profile. The sight of her pierces my heart and nails me in place every time. I've made my mind up. I will create my finest culinary creation yet and de dedicate it to Tyria to win her heart. And how she will swoon. After all, conventional wisdom has it that opposites attract. So a powerful woman... Like her must want a homebody like me. Um, I mean, just be prepared to uh, be wrong about that, sir. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what she wants, but at the same time, I think you might be a little bit overconfident in your assessment of opposites attract. Um, you're friends with Tyria, right? You'd want to make her happy, right? Well, then you'll help me out, right? If you happen to get some cream wheat, angel bream, and gentle clams, please give them to me, okay? Uh. Oh God, I need to go. I need to go get gentle clams. Dang it! All right, fifty thousand monies. Thad wants to woo Tyria with a home cooked meal. I gather the three ingredients he'll need. Okie dokie. You'll accept that quest. I will accept that quest, Lolical. Thanks, friends. I'm counting on you. Mine and Tyria's happily ever after is hanging in the balance. Rest assured that your issue will be attended to with haste. Can, can I, can I not? Hello. Despite my humble appearance, back in Alchemoth, I was called the Silver Spatula Virtuoso. Uh, well, my boss was anyway. I might not be Tyria's match when it comes to fighting, but I know for a fact that I can cook a meal, mean meal or two. So leave the cooking to me, and I'll leave the ingredient gathering to you, friends. Alright, so I gotta do this first, huh? Speaking of, the folks tending the wheat fields are saying they managed to harvest some premium grade wheat. I'll believe it when I see it. Alright, I need to go get some gentle clams. Alright, let's go get this other quest. Come and see! Ah, Miss Melia! Hmm? Is something the matter, or do you have business with me? I just got this. I was asked to please give it to Miss Melia, so here, it's for you. Huh? Some kind of message? <gasps> Impossible. What is it? What is it? I'm sorry. I've, I'm afraid I've quite forgotten my manners. Thank you for delivering the note. I hereby confirm its receipt. Now, if you'd be so kind as to... So kind to excuse me. It seems there is somewhere I must go at my earliest convenience. The note sender is waiting for Melia at Companion's Cape. Let's go and meet them. Uh, 100,000 monies and XPs. Anemone Brim L, Princess Dress L. So that'll probably be uh, some of the other appearances. Recommended level 76. Probably means that there's going to be a fight. The Fallen. You'll accept that quest? I will accept that quest, Lolical, because I have no choice. Letter for Melia. I'll take that. I did not see that out there at all, but whatever. Let's get a surefire hit. Turned on. Yep, that's what I thought. I thought it would be Winnie. Yes. Um, I'm so sorry to accost you, but do you know young Ardred and Mr. Cars? I'm actually a little worried about them. I've heard the two of them departed for Zekar Marga Quarry some time ago. Well, they've been gone a while now. I thought they would be back already. It's awfully presumptuous of me, I know. But wouldn't you be so good as to look for Ardred and Cars? Alright, recommended level 72. Ardred and Cars have gone to Zekar Marga Quarry. Uh, it would be best to find them before they get themselves into any mischief. 35,000 monies. You'll accept that quest? I will accept that quest, Lolical. 
Stubborn Minds. Since I lost my husband, young Ardred, and Mr. Cars as well, since I got here, well, they've been nothing but kind to me. If something had happened to them, I don't... I don't know what I'd do. Rest assured that your issue will be attended to with haste. Alright, first of all... Gentle Clam down here, I think. Let's go get that. I kind of miss the uh, um, ability to like pull up the list of people and like focus on them and, and, and go find them specifically. Yeah, there's a gentle clam. So who do we have here? Helps if I get on the bridge. Mithril and Bartholomew. You know what? We're down here, so let's come over here. Because it feels like we're in the uh, end part of the game, so I'm kind of hoping that all these are available. Uh, before I check, actually, let's see. Quiet moments. Yep. Yep. Okay. We do have one with Tyria. Uh, needed an active party. Okay. And it is afternoon, so that's good. <laughs> Sleepsy and sunsy. Sister Pun, can you now just have dream of become a hero, Pun? Meh? You were awake though. Big and fresh, Kino. Even dream of being hero Pun in the middle of a sleep. Sister Pun, that too. Nay, nay, and Aww. dream too. What nay, nay, do? <sighs> Kino and Nene were lying in sun. Just like now. You're not exactly lying in the sun. Then, it suddenly got dark. When open eye saw face of huge brog in front of own face. Mimi! Hope it not eat us. Tongue of brog all warmy long. With tongue, it gobble Nene right up. Oh no, Nene get ate? But, but to help sister bond, Kino got self ate too. Uh. Mare, what happened next? Inside a brock stomach, four pollen orbs. <laughs> oh, day of happy. How very lucky to be brock food. Um. No, wait. <laughs> How we get out? Kino insist upon a own fell of pollen orbs. Eight till full. It sound like dream. It was a dream. So then, bodies of Kino and Nene swell up like balloon. And brock black Kino and Nene out. <laughs> Jammy pants. I love jammy pants. That's how Kino become mighty hero born. Such sudden. Now, what give? Why not Nene become hero? <laughs> I mean, it was his but, dream. But what happened? It was just dream. Once woke up, no longer was hero born. Aww. Meh. Well, Nene think. Kino become more closer to Hereupon each day. Kino, while travel with Mr. Shock and Miss Melia, Kino try to talk to all many sorts of people. And also, ain't 
Ancient Nopon art, a shifty slip that Kino practiced so long. Looked like it come along nicely. <laughs> yeah, really? Hurrah! Kino happy to hear. <sighs> Wait, how Nene know Kino was practicing shifty slip technique? Meh, please not to sweat deep. <laughs> Shifty also. <laughs> Very uh, shifty. Uh, anyway, Kino working really hard to become Heropon. Which mean, one day soon, become Heropon in life, not just dream. Man. Mr. Shulk and Miss Melia are such amazing. Always give everything for others. They like real life Heropon. But, but what about... Kino defeat King of Fog could even do all but lonesome. Meh meh. Kino sure? Nah, I don't think so, Kino. Kino. Sure. But there's no need for Kino to fight by lonesome. Everyone defeat Fog King together. If fight alone, it's always chance to slip up and make mistake. But when all together, help one another to succeed. Nay, nay, make sure everyone stay safe. And Kino makes sure everyone stay healthy. Aww. Mama, Kino convinced? <laughs> After beat King of Fog, Kino be hero Fog? For sure get big pat on back from bird people, friends. And then, maybe they build statue of Kino. Hero Pond, vanquish her King of Fog. No, Mama, Kino have to do it. Nene always by side of Kino. Not have to worry one bit. Oh. Oh, indeed. Kings. With Nene by side of Kino, King of Fog just be a cloudy pop. Let the spirit. Nene also set pluck to Max. They're so adorable. Alright, Nene, uh, Nene's been out of the party for a little bit. Let's bring her back in. Alright, uh, let's see. So, next up, we've got this one. Let's see if I can get back there pretty easily without, uh... Is that what I think it is? Is that Shushu? That's Shushu. The more Shushu think it's scary, the more scary it gets. So re reversely, should think more like Nene and fight along with, along with against King of Fog. Me me me, no way no way no way. Even me think of is scary. Oh, here it is. Good thing I didn't go down any further. Ah, light and shadow. Tyrea, do you perchance remember the day that we two first met? Perchance. I was wondering what you'd come out with. You finally decided to settle some past grudges, have you? Not at all. I just found it quite moving. Though we crossed blades, contended for our very lives, here we are standing shoulder to shoulder, gazing out at our shared ancestral home. Huh. <laughs> quite. Getting over all that was... a minor miracle. If someone told me a year ago that we'd be doing this, I'd have carved out their spleen for suggesting it. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrea, about what I said to you before. Yes. Are your doubts allayed? Perhaps. Not all of them. However, my answer to the question you posed is more or less ready. Tell me then. Melia, you are the last high entia of Imperial blood. I guess technically Tyrea well, doesn't yes, have Imperial blood. Well, yes, that is true. Although, are you not also? Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you, 
You must continue the line. You and none other. I mean, you could for You are the light, purposes. Melia. You must lead us. Gather our people under your banner. I don't think I ought to be there for that. Why, Tyrea? What leads you to say such a thing? The fact is, I was an inquisitor of the Bionite Order, my very existence prescribed by law. You know what role the Order played in the Imperial family's history. I hardly need to remind you. Tyrea. Understand. It just means you have things to make up I for. I regret none of the deeds I did for you, Mayor. But even so, all that I have done in that life lingers on inside me, a burden I can't escape. All I do is cast a deep shadow on your radiance. As the Imperial Line rises to greet a new age, I will contribute nothing. I'd be a hindrance. How can you hate your own self that much? <laughs> if that is the answer you wish to give me, then it would be wrong for me to speak out against it. Yeah, I don't know about wrong. But I will say this, Tyrea. Imperial blood yet runs in your veins too, as does the mixed blood of a Homs. We are no different. How could we be? At this point, it doesn't mean a damn thing. You're wrong. Stop talking. <laughs> I told you not to get your hopes up. Can it really be your intention to keep blaming yourself? Why? Why won't you turn your eyes to the future? Is this what your mother would have wanted? How dare you? You didn't know you, Mayor. You didn't know my mother. <sighs> Ma Mayor! Two of you, stop flap traps! <laughs> Nay, Nay, what are you doing here? That question very irregardable. Nay, Nay simply observes sneaky light from hiding. Aww. Miss Tyrea, Miss Melia, Sister Pom fight is counterpunductive. <laughs> counterpunductive. <laughs> Is better to hug and make up blinkety snap. If not, Mama Pon, roll up sleeves, then everyone's sorry. <laughs> Qu quit this clowning. We are not. Incidentally, Nene is older sister Pon, so even in fight with Kino, always make up swifty quick. But but it's not because Mama Pon scare into submission, okay? <laughs> Actually, it's what Nene like to call mature attitude. <laughs> uh just thinking about make old scars and nene itchy itchy but but anyway bottom line is fighting is bad so now is when please to hug and make up go on say sorry sister pon what is this thing going on about <laughs> mother huh if your mother if you maya were here now looking at us like this I wonder what she would say. Hey, well, she wasn't a very don't nice tell person. Me you're taking it seriously. It's spouting nonsense. Well, don't call her it. Oh, it? Nene is not saying. Nene is Nene. Yeah. What point is there in talking about it now? There's no way for us to know. She's dead and gone. My apologies, Tyrea. I know you put great faith in her. So I just thought. But it's as you say. I'll admit, I never understood your mother's mind, even at the very end. <laughs> Yemea's devotion to the Bionite Order was how she honored the Imperial line. And also, how she channeled her woe over our ultimate fate. Her spirit contained no falsehood. I see. Not a whole, whole lot of positivity, the though. Due of her faith, Yamea could be very severe towards both me and herself. I'm sure if she could see me now. <sighs> Attending at Yamea's side 
Serving her unto exhaustion was my whole life. Yemea's desires were mine as well. What's more, the blood that flows in me is in essence. Tyrea? Yemea's blood and her will. Are they really doomed to just cease to be? Would Yemea really? Would Mother simply allow this? Whatever has got into you. Melia. If you may were here, if she saw me, saw us two, here's how she'd rebuke us. If you wish a future for the High Entia, you must do whatever is in your power. Huh? Changing one's way of life means negating your past self. I tried to change myself. And the path I walked until then, I disavowed. The precious path I had walked as Yumea's loyal retainer. Let me be me then, the Empress's, your shadow. And I'll do what's in my power. So then, you will not change your ways, but still walk alongside me. Is that correct? Yumea, mother kept me by her side for that purpose. She already showed me the road that I should take. I think I'd like to repay her by putting her will into action. For her, and for the future of the High Entia. I see. So that's the answer you have chosen. I'm glad that is your decision, Tyrea. I don't like the idea of her saying mm. about, talking about being, uh, You may uh, be a fitting vessel to inherit the throne, but as a politician, you'll be much too soft for your own good. If you got blinded by pretty ideals and came to ruin, I could never face my mother. No, I'd never be so... Let's face it. You'll need someone to rein you in when you get too blinkered. <laughs> Frankly, I find the suggestion somewhat offensive. <laughs> All right. But in that case, I must make a pronouncement too. I, Melia Antiqua, Empress of the High Entia, by my name do solemnly decree. Be thou guardian, for our subjects and the race entire, act the mistress of unseen shadows, and pledge thy very life to this throne. Swear your might to my bidding, Tyrea. I accept. I will honor this commission, your majesty. <laughs> now hug you two. Miss Tyrea, Nene, very proud. Managed to apologize very beautiful. Made your sister upon vibes. <laughs> who, who are you calling sisters? And I'll have you know, I've nothing to apologize for. Ma'am? But, Miss Tyrea, just a proper big bear to Miss Melia. No? Nope. You little. Are you actively trying to insult me? Me, ma but I have plenty sorry feel. It's just like when Dad upon makes apologizes <laughs> to Mom upon. Whatever. I'm too old for this. The future is within our grasp, sister mine. Oh, we actually got to see her fly away with, their, uh, with those headwings. Those are really strong headwings if I, if I can li lift the... Uh... Hey there, Nene. Where did you go after the uh, story event? Weird. That was a really long one, too. Wow. All right. Um... Oops. So let's go up here. And... A little dip. We'll take a look at this one. Uh, okay, so that's Kino and Melia. But we have... How many others? Is 
Is that actually it? No, there's one in Alchemoth. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so we got two more. Oops. Um, so I think we'll wait until next time to do those, because uh, it is close to the end of the episode. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, just cut it off a little bit early. That's okay. But we had a, a, a very lengthy one with Tyrea, which was really nice. I really like that one. Um, I'm really liking Tyrea in this... Uh, uh, I don't know. It's not exactly a DLC, but kind of. This, this uh, ex extra story, I guess, since that's what they call it. Anyway, uh, when we come back next time, we got to two more quiet moments to view and uh, some side quests to do. See you next time, everyone.